police station. Go away. Go away. Please. I'll call the police. Madame Magloire, who's at the door? A beggar, a monster. <laughs> what does he want? To kill us. I need help. Food. Please, you will come inside. Madame Magloire, you will set another knife and fork for the guest. Oh, but monsieur. You're welcome here, my friend. Come in. I want you to put clean sheets upon the bed in the alcove. You mean to sleep here? Yes. I think our guest could do it a good, nice rest. Hmm? Oh, monsieur, I beg you to consider it. See to it at once. Well, my friend, perhaps you will wish to wash before supper. I can't pay for any of this. Oh, I have no money. Hmm. And I would not take it if you did. You're more at home here than myself. And all there is here is yours. You don't even know who I am. Uh, but I do. You're my brother. And I can tell that you have suffered greatly. Even for a priest, you're different from the others. But there are many more of them than there are of you. No man who is created good by God can be made entirely bad by man. There is always a spark which evil can never extinguish. I don't know anything about that. Right to live, that's all. It's enough for now. Madame Magloire, where are the silver plates we use for guests? Monseigneur, the silver, the silver is has gone. It has been stolen by that beggar. I told you, I warned you. That scoundrel, he took it in the night. Madame Magloire, I have wrongfully held back this silver which belongs to the poor. And who was this person? Evidently a poor man. He is a thief. We must do something. We must inform the police. Oh, Lord, help us. He has come back. He will kill us. Don't go to the door. Monseigneur, 
If you please, one moment. What, Monseigneur? You're not the priest, then? Silence! He's a bishop, of course. May we enter, Monseigneur? Indeed you may. I've been waiting for you. Come in. What a pleasant surprise. I'm so happy to see you again, Monsieur. What's that? You have discovered, of course, that you forgot the candlesticks. Candlesticks? They are also silver, and I think it should fetch you 200 francs at least. Why didn't you take them with you? Monseigneur, are you saying this man spoke the truth? Well, we thought he was running away, but he claimed that he... Yes, yes, I know. Well, he told you that uh, this silver had been given to him by a good priest. <laughs> so it was. But you were mistaken. In that case, uh, we shall release him. Immediately. I know you gentlemen try to do your duty, and I do not blame you, but uh, you may retire now. Good day. Is it true? I am free. Here. You will take this with you. No, I can't. Take them. Good. Now you will leave in peace. Father. Promise me. Promise that you will employ the money from this silver in becoming an honest man. Do you hear me? And I promise you that there is more joy in heaven over the face of a repentant sinner than the white silk robes of a hundred just men. If you leave here with thoughts of hatred against your fellow man, then you're worthy of pity. But if you leave with thoughts of kindness and, and peace, oh, then you, you are more worthy than any of us. brother, for you no longer belong to evil. I bought your soul, and I withdraw from it all black thoughts, and I give it to God. <laughs> <laughs> 